What's up, producer spot? My name is Mike. I'm with PatBangers.com, and I'm very glad to be able to speak to you guys today. And I want to share a quick tutorial with you uh, for all you Ableton Live users. Um, it's all about saving the setup of your external hardware as well as your digital plugins for easy and fast recall in later projects. Now, even if you're not an Ableton Live user, uh, you might be able to adopt this to your DAW. It really depends on the DAW, but uh, I'm not familiar with every software, but uh, at least you Ableton Live users, I think you will really enjoy this. So let's jump right into it. Let's fire up Ableton Live. And I want to give you a quick example with hardware first. So um, let's say I want to set up my MOOC Sub 37 here in Ableton Live. Uh, all I need to do this, of course, is a MIDI and an audio track. So first of all, I get rid of these two tracks right here. And I call the first one Sub 37 MIDI out. And I call the second one uh, Sub 37 audio in. Give them the same colors so I know those two channels belong together. And um, now for the setting, I want to send out MIDI to my... Uh, I want to receive MIDI from my MOOC Sub 37, of course, and I want to send MIDI to the MOOC Sub 37 at the same time. So when I record MIDI notes, it will send out, trigger the sound, and then it comes back in here into the audio channel. So I know from my, and I know it's from my external input, and I want to choose here. It's my mono channel number seven, and I turn on monitoring, and now when I play it. I'm able to hear it. So to not do this in every new project and save me this time, I want to save this kind of as a preset. So I made a preset folder right here. And now all you need to do is highlight those two tracks and drag them out into the browser here. And as you can see, you get an ALS file created. So I named this MOOC sub 37. As you can see, I already created such a preset before. And you can also turn uh, open this up and you see you have two channels in here, an audio and a MIDI track. Now let's do a new project real quick. And now to recall this, all you need to do is drag those ALS file into your session view. And here you go. Ready to go. Just one drag and drop, no messing around with inputs and MIDI setup. It's just right there. And this is a huge time saver. If you not already knew this, you will save lots of time, not wasting setting up your, your hardware, uh, but focusing on making music, which is always the most important part, of course. Now, this is not only working with uh, external hardware. This also works with internal digital plugins. So let's say we want to create Let's start a new file first. Uh, let's say we want to do this with a multiple output plugin like Contact. So let's fire up Contact here real quick. Just drag it in. And uh, I got to tell you this, if you're using Contact, you got to make sure your mixer output is already set up properly. So in my case here, I have eight stereo outputs set up. If you don't know how to do this, just Google a tutorial for it. There are plenty of tutorials out there explaining exactly how you do it. And uh, don't start doing my tutorial right here without a proper mixer in contact or your other uh, multiple output plugins. This is really essential. So uh, yeah, let's get started. And my goal is not to load up any instruments in here and save them, but to have the environment. So later on, I just have to double click instruments, give them, route them to the stereo output and I'm good to go. So let's give you an example with maybe two or three uh, instruments in here. So let's say we need uh, three MIDI tracks. MIDI track one is the contact plugin itself. So we need to care about, uh, we doesn't, we don't need to care about this. Sorry, not a native speaker. Um, and we have two more MIDI plugin, um, two more MIDI channels, which is just right and two more audio. So we're all good. Now, uh, I just want to make sure I uh, bring these next to each other so I know a little bit better what's going on and give them a nice color so I know those belong together. Uh, maybe yellow and orange. First one, do it green. 
All right, so now when I load up a plugin right here or an instrument, um, let's say I want to choose an organ. Of course, the first one works just fine. Now for the, for the second one, let's load something a little different. Uh, maybe your flute right here. So I gotta make sure this goes to stereo output too. Then on my MIDI channel 2, I route this to contact and to the second track. And for the audio, I've got to turn on monitoring and I don't want to uh, receive it from my external audio interface. I want to receive it from contact and I want to choose contact stereo output 2. And so here we have the flute. We have the organ. Now let's do it for another instrument just to make sure it just really works. Um, let's load up different, maybe an accordion. So here my accordion goes to stereo output three. Down here, MIDI two, we send this to contact and we choose track three. Now in for the audio, we want to make sure it's receiving from contact and we choose in stereo output three and turn on monitoring. So again, channel one, the organ, channel two, the flute, and channel three, the... All right, so as I mentioned before, I don't want to save those instruments, I just want to save my setup. So what I'm going to do is I now delete uh, these instruments. I delete them. And I would continue doing this for all of my eight tracks. Then again, highlight all of these and just drag them to the browser and name this Contact 5. So I'm going to shoot up a new project, drag in my file, and here are all my contact channels right here. So now all I need to do is in the new project I can go in and I can quickly load up instruments and all I need to do is route them to the specific stereo channel but no further setup to have them routed correctly in, uh, in Ableton. Yeah, that's it so far. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, if you like the tutorial, please feel free to come over to Pat Bangers. Um, PatBangers.com is the blog. Uh, PatBangers.com slash YouTube leads you right to my YouTube channel. Please, if you like this, uh, share it, subscribe to the channel, and uh, I talk to you guys later. Peace out, producer spot. I'm out.